Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Run More, this brick and mortar running shop in Westminster, Maryland. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the New Balance Rebel 3. I'm really excited about this shoe. Of all the shoes I carry in the wall, this is definitely in my top two or three. Um, I love the Rebel, I love the Rebel 2, and I have been anxiously awaiting the Rebel 3. Anxiously awaiting because this shoe was originally due in March of 2022. Then it got pushed back a little bit to May. Then it was June, then it was July. So finally, I'm holding this shoe on October 3rd. We just got our shipment in last week, and I had been so excited about it because my Rebel 2s were quite dead and I'd been holding out for a new pair. So this was the timing on this was perfect. This is a fast shoe from New Balance. This is a midsole made up from the Fuel Cell, which is their more energy return line. Most of the shoes in the New Balance family that we carry here in our Run Specialty Shop feature what, what they call their fresh foam. So that's their nice, soft, everyday cushion shoe. It's great, that midsole is very comfortable, but Nothing overly exciting about it. This is a fuel cell midsole. So this is designed to have a little bit more of that energy return to it. That feeling when you sink into it, it's soft, but then it kind of propels you forward. This shoe does a masterful job of doing that. It's extremely light and very fast, but yet also feels very cushioned. So this shoe weighs only on the men's side, 7.9 ounces, and on the women's, 6.1 ounces. That's almost two ounces less than what your traditional mid-cushion shoes from New Balance and their other categories are. So if you're comparing this to stuff like an 880, which is a mid-cushion neutral trainer, and compared to this, which I call a mid-cushion neutral trainer, it's like, I don't know, a fifth of the weight. It's fantastic. This midsole is designed to sort of propel you forward, but the other thing I like about it is the drop on this. This shoe features just a six millimeter drop. And again, most other shoes in this category from New Balance are in that higher 10 millimeter drop. It doesn't sound like a huge difference, but for me and for a lot of people, that six millimeter drop is sort of that sweet spot. We carry a lot of stuff that's low and that's high, but I like those shoes that are right smack in the middle and I don't feel like there's enough shoes in that six millimeter drop. And this shoe is now falling right back into this. A nice big update on this as well is this material seems to be much more breathable and it also fits a little truer to size. I had kind of a little bit of breaking in on version two. It felt a little tight for me, but you can tell this shoe is nice and roomy and wide and quite airy. Because it's so nice and light, this is a very nice breathable upper and they've worked hard to kind of make sure they trim out the weight by not making it too beefy. They've also got a nice sewn in gusseted tongue so it is sewn in down the sides to give a little bit better fit. And even the lacing pattern they use on here is to give yourself a little bit better cinch. I will say that's one thing I noticed on version two is sometimes I got a little bit of fold up here on the tongue. I think this might have a similar feeling once I kind of get into it, I'll know a little bit more. But that is something to look for that this is a very thin tongue and um, with this lacing on here, it might get a little bunched up here. But besides that, the other nice factor on the shoe, they've also kept true. If you kind of look at how much wider this shoe is up here, I have found this shoe for me personally has been great to kind of help with my supination. I really wear the shoes out bad on the lateral side, which caused me a lot of irritation on my hips and IT band. This shoe really has helped me from version one, which was even more sort of exaggerated with that rounded lateral feel to it. Version two still had it and version three still has it. It's kind of hard to tell by looking at it, but it definitely has this more of a wingy shape to it on the lateral side. So this is a neutral cushion shoe, so it's not necessarily great for somebody who severely rolls in, but it's great for somebody who rolls out like myself. Um, it also does have a little bit higher of an arch profile than its predecessor, not making it a stability shoe, but if you are somebody who has very high archers, it just likes a neutral shoe that has a little bit more height on the arch profile side, not stable, but just higher high cushion, this shoe's gonna fit your foot very well. It also has more of a traditional, less padded heel cup to it, just to shave off a little bit of weight. It still has a little bit of feel of paddingness to it, but not like some of the other shoes from New Balance in that mid-cushion category. It's light, springy. Um, it has a pretty good durability on it. My pair right now has a couple hundred miles on it, and you know, at first, those first couple runs, you can kind of see that this shoe is getting beat up, but it sort of held its form for the last 200 miles or so and didn't seem like it got any more beat up. So I expect this shoe to have a similar lifestyle. Um, you know, you'd love to get that 350, 500 miles. I don't know if I'd get 500 out of this, but I feel pretty comfortable that I should at least get that 350 to 400 miles out of. And for shoe that's sort of that light, go fast shoe, that's pretty darn good. 
And because, again, this being sort of a light go fast shoe, I will also say with this cushion level in it, I've had 20 plus mile runs in, ver in both version one and version two in the Rebel and felt like it was enough cushion and support for me even for longer miles. If you wanted to push this up and use this as a shoe to run a marathon in or a, tra a shoe to put in for like longer mild stuff as you're getting up to your longer runs, you can certainly do it in this. Fantastic, nice, fun shoe that even though it's sort of more of a fast paced shoe, you can use it as your everyday trainer and you can kind of pull the reins back a little bit if you wanted to use this on a distance day, but still feel like you had a little bit of energy return. I just, on a personal level, I don't always love having like a big oversized shoe on an everyday run. I just feel kind of slow and sloppy in it. So even on days where I'm doing sort of recovery run miles, sort of junk run miles, I still like to have a shoe that has just a little bit to it. Um, even if I don't might be taking advantage of what that shoe is doing on those type of runs, I find myself just liking that feeling because it makes the miles even seem that much more easy to me because the shoe is doing a little bit of the work for me. So there you have it, the New Balance Rebel 3, available now for a mere $130. If you wanna purchase this fine product, feel free to check out the link down below. And if you enter promo code RUNMORE, just one word, you'll save yourself 10% on your order and we'll ship it out for free. If you have questions on this, feel free to leave it down below in the comments and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. And if you can do me a favor, like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us grow our audience out there. Hey, and uh, as always, we will see you around town.